Boost of Speed, Logistics or 2500 Gold with difficulty of hard. So my guess is Nimbus. I forgot what Nimbus specialty is. I, I believe she's a necromancer, like a magic hero. So the likelihood of her learning logistics is actually not that bad. But boots of speed sounds like a pretty good artifact. So I'm gonna take boots of speed. Oh, well. This is awkward. Alright, time to go to bed. I see. Well, this turns out to be a very difficult mission. Well, shit. Try to give him boots of speed. Oh, what is this? I am, I think I'll be fine. So I would rather have one pikeman run forward. But unfortunately I don't really have a choice in this matter. Since they have such a I forgot to speed my stats, which is a very very big mistake by me. But I will take the extra wood. Ah. Alright, four pikemen, I'll take those horses. I think he can kill this. This is why you don't throw away Pikeman so early. Well, the good news is I can grab a uh, training ground with one, which is gonna be very helpful. So, go back nights. Oh, another guard house. Wow, so many learning stones. It's ridiculous. Grab the learning stone. Ah, of magic, ah. Oh my god, uh, I'll be better off with water magic because that's less. But whatever. Something else, then I'll be fine. Okay, I just grab scholar so I can teach. Hopefully, teach frost ring. To, I don't know. <laughs> okay, not worth my time. A magic arrow would be nice, huh, but I, I, I don't want a magic arrow now. I really need to go. What the fuck, man? City already. It seems a bit ludicrous. Uh. Okay, good enough. Okay, for poison vanquish. So, my. I have to kind of uh, make Nimbus reach high castle. However, I can still level up all these fuckers. So, maybe I can wait. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, maybe I can. Uh, let this campaign drag out a bit and basically farm up a little bit. So if you don't want to watch me do this then it's fine, but go ahead though. You can uh, fast forward and uh, you can check out the rest of the campaign. Oh wait, Demacon is the new one. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's take estates. Oh, this is such a weird game. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm like building up for this weird thing where I only have like one main hero. Cause I can't I can't main or rain. It's, it's a very weird thing to do, it's a very weird progression you see. I have the weirdest composition ever. This is so weird. I swear to god. I grow weary of this war. So do the necromancers. We have agreed to cooperate in the destruction of King Griffinheart. I never thought I would fight alongside the Necromancers, but today we forge weapons for both our armies. With their help, along with the forces from Bracada and Avali, we should be able to repel all undead from Arathia. Wow. So what? Four towns? Holy shite. We will limit my movement around the map, but at least I can. Do some things. Ah, bring a dungeon on me. This is really very, very, very strange. It's a very foreign concept to me. The fact that I can move a, a dungeon army as in, as part of my main hero, and I don't even have any dungeon towns, is ridiculously stupid. But I don't really have a choice because I don't really have other arrays of units to really play around with. And currently, my dungeon army is like the okay-ish kind of exploration army I can have 
because Paya has such a high attack, so I can technically use her to explore with such a low level army and still do quite a lot of damage. Oh wow, good luck. Oh wow, morale. Wait, what? Okay, belly flag resisted. Ah, uh, okay, I guess I guess that's the reason why. Oh, if only there was a way to make them a bit more. I can't bless the. I can bless the ballista! Is that a bit too mean to bless the ballista? I think like. <laughs> okay, we, we will see how it goes. Huh? I, I, I think it's too mean to bless the ballista. But, uh. We'll see how it goes, eh? I've never blessed the ballista before. Three rounds of blessed catapult. No oh, damage. Yeah, I don't think you can kill anyone of my opponent. Okay. The blessed catapult is coming. <laughs> This isn't this isn't the best map but I feel. I wasn't prepared as well as I could be. It doesn't help that this is on a high difficulty as well. If I know what I was signing up for, oh my god. What's with all the garrisons? There are so many ways which you can enter and kill me. How much do I have now? I have two sawmills and three ore pits. Which means I'll have a lot of ore, which I don't need until the late game, where I'm gonna need it all for this particular building. Is that some movement there? Uh, where are you? Yeah, there you are. Okay, this, you can take this. I think Octavia has some troops that I need as well. Never mind, uh, we'll have Octavia upgrade them later. Ah, my god, I'm so retarded. Ah. Uh, forgot who was going to the hill fort there. Oh my god. I play so many years of Heroes 3 and I do a simple mistake Like not knowing where the Heroes 3 start and ends Oh my god, it's gonna suck Hey Adela, let's make a trade You can take my, you can take my dungeon units And I'll take your rampart Sounds like a good idea Um, um Holy shit, damage. Hi. Oh. Wow, the attack so high, so good. I suddenly don't regret doing this. So, seven skeletons for three. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't this game absolutely amazing? Oh. Shit, you man. I needed that wood. Oh, you will pay. Where are you? You over there? I'm coming for you, asshole. Pay your anus. And you are so screwed, bitch. Come here! I will wreck you. I will teach you the meaning of fear. Just because it's kind of off place. The problem is I have no idea how many towns they have. So I don't know whether playing conservatively might have been a bad idea in this game. Well, Renda does not have any any offensive power. Like he's not using any spells. Yeah, he's bad. Okay, you just wasted my time. You just captured my sawmill and then ran. What a bitch. Okay, very magic trick. You visit the stables and upgrade your champion to champion for free. For fucking free. Isn't that wonderful? This is the part where I screw you over because you are assholes, all of you. Ah, blue tin. Oh. This was the big secret. A hidden castle town. I suppose that's nice actually. What the fuck? Now. Uh, before we go, I need to check my mic. Very good. Okay, let's look at Catherine. And I was actually very happy to see her because I played this game for my entire childhood. I never ever saw Catherine. So to see her as a hero was a really great thing. She is a very, very good hero. Unfortunately, her stats say otherwise. Now, her stats are quite good. And it's actually better than Orin. But you have to remember, Catherine has the Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment. 
So yeah, she actually has 6622, two, which is way worse than Orin. And even a magic hero like Adela. Mm. She's actually quite okay. And the thing is, you cannot let Lord Hart or Catherine die. So using her as your main hero, hero might pose a little bit of a risk. So I am going to use uh, Adela to commandeer the main army of the castle faction. On my first recording of this quest, I actually lost. I actually could not do this. And I, I know, I suck. But you have to understand that 160% is actually much more difficult than it seems. And I don't fault anyone for being unable to do this quest because this is actually uh, somewhat harder than uh, the... No, I'll fuck you. Uh, this quest is actually slightly more difficult than the very famous uh, Dungeons and Devils. Okay, very big problem with this fight for obvious reasons. But you can negate it by just teleporting one gargoyle step ahead. But you gotta teleport the big one. Don't teleport the small ones. If not, you'll just die. Oh, open, open the path to the, to the left. So this is what I really don't like about this mission, is that there are three paths, three bloody paths to attack my city. And all three paths are really easy to attack. Okay. Hooray! It only cost us 30 bloody marksmen. But with advanced intelligence, I certainly are ahead. Where is that magic well? I saw a magic well. Ah, it's over there. Okay. Okay, I lost about four of my cavalier. But it was a good trade. If I kill any of their heroes, it's a pretty good trade. Dimension door. Oh, down portal, wow. With advanced wisdom. And I have expert earth. Woohoo! Okay, we're here for a while. Gonna quickly town portal back here. <laughs> then after that, go back. Ah, uh, uh, town portal. Oh my god. That is amazing. No! You must all pay for being undead. Where am I? My friend who means undead be like, no. <coughs> Nine! What? Oh yeah, you have diplomacy! <coughs> oh my god, I just gave myself cancer there. Okay, let me go straight. <laughs> uh, oh god, I feel dirty. Like really dirty, that's just insane how dirty that is. Just raise, raise the skeleton. I mean raise the ghost dragon. I can't break his defense. The first hit, then he was the ghost dragon. Uh, <laughs> this is so sad. This is so cancerous. Yes, please give me. Oh, another hero. Oh, thank you. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, run, bitch. Oh, expert diplomacy. You see, this is why. This is why this bloody skill is banned in so many competitive matches. Because shit like this happens. Where you successfully persuade the stack of ghost dragons right next to your army. Oh, oh is that even more artifacts? Why well, thank you. I kinda want it. I kinda want armor of wonder though. Armor of wonder is better. Okay, this battle is gonna be a bit complicated because there's two stacks of lich. Uh actually I can take them out. Uh, ah, four. There we go. I see some button. Okay, I found myself an interesting path. Oh, hello, who's this? What are you doing here, Moendo? I haven't seen you since the start. Ah, more artifacts. Oh, that's it. Woohoo! Oh my god. Oh my god, I finished the entire campaign! It only took one and a half hour. Or more. Throughout my life, my father emphasized my duty to the kingdom and my duty to justice. Today, I did both by delivering to my father, Lord Hart, the traitor who poisoned him and imprisoned his soul in an undead corpse. Ooh. When I came to Arathia, it was to mourn a great king and a loving father. 
Your enemies have waged war to prevent me from seeing you one last time. I have driven them from the land. They will not disturb your eternal slumber ever again. Great victories and great tragedies have marked the Griffinheart history. Your death brings an end to the Restoration War and the Griffinheart lineage. I will miss you dearly, Father, and think of you often. Rest in peace. Thank you everyone! It has been a great ride. And that is the reason why it's called Song for the Father. Because this particular campaign is the song for the father. Right? So, thank you everyone again for watching. And it has been my pleasure to present to you the restoration of the Rafa campaign. Next time we come back, we are going to finish up the epilogue so to say <laughs> this isn't over yet <laughs> this is not the end unfortunately but i'm sure for now i can take a break and i thank you all for watching this has been my pleasure and i'll see you all next time